Anders, I wanted you to give me a, an idea of what you think your team has shown, your fans, yourselves, the hockey world, basically with uh, with the run that you've gone on here this this fall. Um, a lot of pride, uh, character, resiliency. Um, it's a special group in the in our room, and uh, until that very last minute, it's just. Uh, Every single one of us believed in, in each other and what we were doing and the road we were on. And, um, you know, obviously we come up short, but I think there's just a huge, huge sense of pride right now. Um, and every single one of those guys in our room and um, everyone involved. Molly Walker, New York Post. Anders, obviously no one's feeling good right now, but what was said in the locker room just now? How did you guys leave it off? You know, I think some of that is between the boys and, and everyone in there. And But you know what? I think um, the sentiment of kind of what I just spoke about a little bit, um, The amount of uh, you know the love that we have for one another and the care that we you know you go through this you you make a run like this um, you battle for one another uh, it's hard to explain a little bit um, what you do for the guy sitting next to you um, and uh, it's it's uh, you know we're trying to still process it all right now but I think. Um, Moving forward, our room, it's, uh, it's going to be nice to move forward with these guys. I mean, how tough is this, especially with the way you played? And what were you thinking when you saw Brock all alone with the puck at the other end? Of course, I was hoping uh, he's going to score um, on that breakaway. You know, um, we, had a, we had a chance to win uh, tonight. Um, that was a great chance for us. Uh, but, you know, I mean, he didn't score. What are you going to do? Um, I mean, it's disappointing, of course. Uh, um, you want to go in the final, and then I think uh, we had a chance um, to, you know, to go in the final play there. But we lost, so season's over. Arthur Staple, The Athletic. Scott, uh you know, you're going into a game without Adam on your back end and you've got Noah playing his first ever playoff game. It still seemed like you guys were able to, to kind of to hang together through all the ups and downs of that game. Yeah, I think, I mean, we always play with the next man up mentality and Noah stepped in and showed what he can do, moved his feet out of the zone, made some good plays. And, you know, we're deep. We have guys that can play. So um, it was tough to lose Adam, but Noah stepped in and did well. Christian Arnold. Scott, kind of in that vein too, you you had a similar experience as Noah stepping in in a big moment a couple of years ago in the postseason. Um, you know, did he come to you at all before the game for any advice or were you, were you trying to help him out there to, to manage the expectations of what that moment was going to bring? Yeah, I think, uh, I think all the guys kind of chipped in a little bit, talked to him. Um, I'm sure he was nervous, but it's, uh, you know, he had nothing to lose. Go in there, play his game. He's a really really good player so he um you know my my year when i had to do that i wasn't up all year i was black acing and just kind of thrown into it so you know he's he was with us all season um he could have stepped in any game all year and been just fine so it's uh he knows that and he uh he did well andrew gross newsday hey uh scott uh, you you've been with the organization through some of the, you know, maybe some of the down times. I, I know this hurts right now. I can't imagine how much it hurts for you guys, but what, what, what's the sense of pride of where the organization is and, and how much higher of a bar you guys think you can set in the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the bar has always been set high. Uh, I think um, 
this just shows maybe other people how high we think it is. Um, yeah, there have been up and downs. There's been some tough times, but you know, with the staff we have here, the ownership we have here, it's, I, I think, turned the corner. And we showed that last year in playoffs, getting to the second round, and this year getting to uh, the conference finals. It, it hurts now, but there is, uh, I guess that's a silver lining if you want to look at it that way. Um, yeah, it's trending in the right direction, I guess.